Okay, now we're on page six. Um, obviously, if these pages have taken more space, then that would have moved on. But um, this is page six. This is a picture of a painting by George Brock. And from that, we're going to annotate it by writing notes. Now, these are all individually mounted up pieces of paper with what is going on in the picture. So the muted colors, geometric candles, uh, angles, candlestick, uh, copper goblet, uh, dark shadow, everything in there is actually recorded in the picture. So you're going to actually observe what's going on in the picture. Now, there's a few things to do. One, copy a piece of work and that you will need to do three times. So as you can see, there's another piece of work which has been copied and further back in your book, another piece of work that's been copied. Now the final picture is going to um, relate to your final piece of work. So you want to copy three pieces of work. The one that you want to just take further, you need to put further back in your book. So you would need some planning for this. Now I am got another video on developing a piece of work and you may want to skip to that and see the reason why you're developing a piece, uh, putting that piece last in your book. Um, but copying three pieces of work is essential. Now, how to copy a piece of work? I would get a picture off the internet. So you get a picture off the internet, that would be the size of your book. Obviously, if you did it bigger, A4, then you would have your notes over the picture. If you did it smaller, you could have your notes around the picture. And from that, you would do the same technique as you did with your first image. You would turn that over, you would shade the back of the picture. When you shade the back of the picture, the picture becomes a tracing. That tracing can be drawn over there with a pen. So if you turn it off twice and you ruin the first one, then you would have the one to copy from. You would actually get the line drawing on the picture underneath and there you could then paint it in exact. So that is a way to produce a picture. Um, now there are ways around that as well. There's some handy hints. So um, this, um, this is a picture which has been copied um, on the last page um, that has got all the marks around the outside so when you rip it down you could actually include the you know the rough edges you don't have to rip it down exact this student well that is a copy of that piece of work now it's going to be hard to copy that exact in fact the student there has done a better job than me so the 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 picture that i copied is there and this is one by a student you can see how beautifully they've done it you can scheme so from the corner of the image you can see that there is a pattern and there is that pattern isolated so you could go on a computer program snip that off you could repeat it across there and there you would have your background so when you drew these shapes they could be stuck on there as a collage and you wouldn't have to actually produce the background obviously that's a lot of work um, but you know you would actually have a lovely background to actually produce your picture on so another way of doing it that's you know a value It's quite a clever thing to do you don't have to do that you can just straight copy it but what you want is nice three really nice copies of work to put in your book